I am his daughter and like the flame I am wild, wild Hey Coven! Welcome back! I'm here with another Witch in Wednesday vlog. Hopefully this made it up on Wednesday and not Thursday, but like I'm filming it on Wednesday, so normally I film a little bit ahead of time. So today I wanted to talk about something that uh kinda happened at the gathering for me, but I didn't put it on video because I was crying the whole time. <laughs> Because I was doing a little bit of shadow work and I was, I was thinking hell, um, uh, and I just wanted to explain the oaths and promises that I made at the gathering so that you kind of understand why I'm doing what I do now. You're not like, what, who this bitch? Like, you'll, you'll get it, you know, it'll make a little bit more sense. Um, so one of the things that we did was we opened an Odin altar and that was one of the first things that happened. We had a powerful experience where there was like two candles lit on either side of the altar and of course one of them went out. And so we're like, oh, the one-eyed god stares back at us and it was just like a really cool moment. Um, we really felt Odin through that whole weekend. It was awesome. And then after that happened and I just, I really felt the power of the gods and so... I went down and I was just like, I need to make a hell altar. I need to make a hell altar right now. And so I grabbed a white candle and a black candle to represent both sides of her. And I got down there. And the minute that I sit down and I light the candles and I set it up for her, I give her a bunch of chocolate covered cherries. And I write her rune in the cherries. And um, I'm just kind of like inviting her to this space. And the candles are lit. And I'm talking to her. And there's like this little spider that's just like... You guys saw in the video how the hell tree, you had like a dead tree inside and a, a live tree outside and so there was like that hollow in where the dead tree was and there was like a spider just chilling there and I know that that was her <laughs> and um and I'm talking to her and I'm crying and I'm like you know there were so many times in my life where I was suicidal I'm still surprised that I'm alive some days because it got really bad for me in the past and I just had to thank her for not taking me when I wanted to take myself out. I had to thank her for fighting me and telling me, no, you don't want to do this yet. You have things to look forward to. You have stuff coming up ahead. You're so close. You're so close. You don't want to do this yet. And I just had to thank her for giving me that strength to keep living when all I wanted was death. And that was a really heavy moment that I had with her. And in that moment, I promised her... I formally claimed her as my matron, um, even though I had already felt like she was in the past. I had done so formally. I was like, yes, I want you to guide me. I want you to lead me through the rough waters of the world. Um, I trust you. Nobody navigates the shadows as well as hell. And I've unfortunately had to deal with a lot of shadows. So that was something that was really moving for me. Um just to be able to sit down and talk to her and f not not just formally claim her as my matron, but I also made a promise to her that I would help others see that hell is more than death. It's just all that is left of our lore is her being related to death, but she does so much more than that. When we reincarnate, when we come back, that's hell giving our soul life again. And we'll talk about that in another video because that can get really long and I'm just trying to make a quick video today because normally mine are like 20 minutes or something. I, I talk a lot. Like, mm. So that was something that I promised to do for her was to help show the life side of hell because she has life and death. And that's something that I don't hear spoken about with her a whole lot. She, she has a lot of cool powers and she's given me my gifts. She's the reason why I can do what I do. Freya is also a matron. I also made a formal promise to her. So it's like no matter what, when I die, if I'm a warrior or not, I'm going to be end up going to one of my matrons. Um, I don't know. That's really comforting for me to know that either way I'm going to Freya or I'm going to hell. Like, and it's so funny because like as someone who was raised Christian being like, I'm going to hell is kind of like, what? <laughs> Like, if people didn't know what I was talking about, they took it out of context, they'd be like, bitch, you gonna go down to Lucy? No, I'm not going to Lucy. I'm going to hell, baby. <laughs> but you get it. You get it. You all, you all know. If you're watching this channel, you know. So that was one of the promises I made. I was, I was really overwhelmed and I was crying the whole time, so it did not get put on camera. <laughs> um, maybe one of these days we'll talk about shadow work. Um, because that's an important topic. I have a lot of videos lined up just from being in different 
pagan communities, questions that I'm asked, um, questions that I see a lot. So I kind of want to tackle those on here so that way the information is out there and um, people are more able to help themselves. So that's kind of like my goal in the long run with all of this. Um, you know, YouTube and like daily readings on Instagram and everything to show people that hell can be more than that and to help people navigate their shadows. Um, another promise that I made at the gathering, like I said, we felt Odin strong, strong. He was the first altar, like, formally built and like people were around it and ah! like howling like wolves. I got chills. It was one of my favorite memories from that gathering. Um, just being wolves of Odin with all the fellow pagans. It was amazing. Um, and so I did go back and I gave him a pretty strong blood promise. And I told him because all my experiences with my fathers in the past have not been good. Um, my biological dad basically neglected me and my stepfather was kind of a pervert. Um, but it was a really powerful moment and I told Odin, I said, you know, my experiences with my fathers haven't been that great and I'm sorry if I've been avoiding you from, you know, due to past trauma. Um, but I made a vow to him. I said, you know, I'm not ready to take on a patron. I did take on two matrons formally, which I was already kind of counting them my matron, but I did make formal oaths to them at their altars in my own time. I didn't do it during the oath ring ceremony. I wanted to speak to them privately about why I was taking them as my matrons, um, which I did take the oath ring ceremony. My, I don't wear it as often because it needs to be tightened a little bit. So Cole is trying to build a forge. Um, I don't want it to just like fall off, but this is my oath ring. When I do wear it, I wear it on my left hand because it is the heart. It is, you know, got all the veins struck to the heart, to the ticker there. So, um, this is so fucking cold. <laughs> Hell, like charged it up. It is icy. Um, but yes, I did make my oath ring ceremony there to basically vowed to be pagan for the rest of my life which is something I had no qualms with because I plan on doing it anyways and I was also asked during the oath ring ceremony if I would use my gifts as a seer to help the community now this is something that was really moving for me because for a long time in my life I've been treated with doubt I've been treated like a scammer when I'm not um, I know there's a lot of people that try to pretend to be psychics and pull these cards and then they gotta like check their book to tell you what it means. And that's not a bad thing for when you're like learning because you need to learn off of the source information. And I'm not hating on anybody who checks the book. You're still intuitively pulling the card that is needed for that person. However, if you are charging people for readings, you should know your shit. That's all I'm saying. So, with that being said, I did make a promise to be a formal seer of the group. Um, for the lack of a better vocabulary to explain it. And I promised I would use my gifts to help folks. And one of the things that I got to do, which I had never had the opportunity to try before because not a whole lot of people really gave me that chance. Um, but I found out that I'm pretty good at opening chakras for folks. Um, my friend Caleb, he... Um, he has been trying to astral travel and, and all of that stuff to try to connect to long-distance family or ancestors and other realms and he has been unable to do so he did not have any of the tea or any of the um, trippy herbs and I don't mean weed I'm talking like the mugwort mixes like the, the the herbal smokes that will help you trance a little bit um, he didn't have any of those I just you know did my charging up your hands to be a magical tool and then I kind of like put them on his head and I just like touched my third eye to the back of my hands and worked really hard at opening the gate for his chakra and he has been having dreams and all kinds of shit and he never would dream before so that was pretty cool for me to know that I could do that that I could really help people I could help them connect I could help them get dream messages that they might have been accidentally blocking off um, so that way they can really communicate and 
it was just a really cool experience and I feel really aligned on my path right now. Something I'm trying to teach myself is formal Reiki, Reiki, uh, pronunciation of that. I've heard multiple ways, so I'm just going to say both. <laughs> But I've been trying to teach myself how to do that, and hopefully I can get certified to be a, a master so I can actually offer that service for more than just people who come to gatherings. Um, that's something that I feel really called to do, and so that's kind of like my next part of my path is learning how to be a healer in that sense so that I can give readings to see what chakra is blocked and then help you work on it like you need to open your throat chakra so you can tell your boss to fuck off and quit your stupid abusive job I'm so down to hell for that babe oh my god so that's that's kind of where we're at right now I am really excited for how this is going I've made some friends that I swear I knew them in a past life those are my those are my homies. I mean, shit. So this is just one of those things. It's it's part of the path. It's an amazing journey. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> and I'm really... I just wanted to tell you guys kind of what's going on. Because I didn't put that in the video. Um, like I said, I didn't film it. It was a really personal, intimate moment. I needed to kind of digest the moment. I'm here like three weeks later, finally able to like talk about it without getting emotional. Because like I said, with hell and the shadows, it can be heavy. And that's something that you need to be wary of. If you are reaching out to hell, her energy can be heavy and she will make you work. But it's for your benefit, so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. She's cool. She's really, really nice. She's got a big heart. Oh my gosh. I love hell. I love hell. I love hell. So, um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about was, you know, I, I claimed two matrons formally, which I know is kind of weird. Some people only claim one or the other, but I feel like they both help me so so differently like one couldn't do what the other one does and I really need them both to do what I'm meant to do which Odin has showed me like a whole download of what I'm supposed to be doing so I'm trying to stick to what daddy says okay um that's something that I'm working on right now like I said I made a promise to Odin he's my dad and I apologized for not reaching out soon enough because of my trust issues but he's my dad when I get married someday I will look like I'm walking down the aisle alone but I will be walking with Odin and that's all that matters to me I will be walking with my father who truly gives a shit whether he tough loves it out or he actually like gives a hug <laughs> You know, Odin isn't like the big sit on daddy's lap and tell him all your problems. Like, that's what I go to Helen and Freya for. Odin makes sure I stay on track. Odin, sometimes I swear to God, he hits me like a truck with some of that information and I'll just be like, okay, are you sure? And he's just like, yeah! <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's just Odin for me. Um, but I love it. I want to trade this faith for anything. Oh man, I am so glad to be on this journey. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I have a big thing planned for Hell on Samhain. Um, Hell's Bloat, we're doing a big one. We're going to honor the ancestors with a nice meal and a drink for them to come. And whenever they visit, they can like and have some chili and it'll be really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Sorry, spoiler alert. But that's going to be the next video is my Samhain party ceremony it's not really a party because it's COVID and I'm not inviting a whole lot of people over here but we are going to have a bit of a ceremony and I'm really excited and I will of course be sharing that for you beautiful people so if that's something you're interested in like subscribe somewhere wherever it is do the bell because apparently that's the thing you got to do now I don't know and I will see you next week if you also follow Hell, Freya, or Odin, share your stories in the comments because I want to read them because I want to know if I've had similar experiences. Like, um, that's, that's the one cool thing for me about this faith is that when you talk to other practitioners and you find out, oh, like this is something um, Jacob confirmed for me so I knew that I was in fact getting messages from Odin during trance and not from Hell, which I had anticipated because I was at Hell's altar right here. Um... But at the end of it all, I realized that the sun that looked like it was illuminating all the messages, um, 
ends up being just one red eye staring back at me at the end of it all. And that's how I know that it's done. And I'm just like, holy crap, does anybody else get that? And Jacob was like, actually, yeah, yeah, I do. I do get the one red eye staring back at me with Odin. And I was like, good to know. I just had a really powerful experience at the gathering, I guess. I'm just really happy. <laughs> we had a lot of uplifting things happen and I'm really glad I went and I can't wait to go to the next one. Hopefully I will know even more about chakras to help people in even more ways and it's it's gonna be a journey and I'm really excited that I did start this YouTube channel. Um, at first I was really nervous. I was like, mm, what am I gonna talk about? Because like, I always knew that I wanted to be witchcraft but I wasn't sure how to do it and then I just started doing it and now it's like, it's falling into place so nicely and I'm so happy. Um, I've never felt this aligned before. <laughs> it's a really good feeling. My dogs are going nuts. Sorry if you could hear that. So, yeah, basically I just, I made a couple big oaths and big promises. I'm a pagan for life. Mm, found it. So, until next time, um... I will see you on the Samhain video, which we will be filming this weekend. Um, I might film a bonus video for you today. Stella Jane. We don't, I don't know if I'll have the time to do that, but I do, I do want to fix my hair. It's been like, it's been like a year since I've done my hair and the fact that there's color in it still is surprising, but I do want to touch it up before the holiday and before my birthday because it is exactly a week after Samhain. I'm a Scorpio baby. What's up? Also, <laughs> um, yeah, that's just what's going on right now. Say hi, Star. She's like, let me go. Yeah, that's it. That's all I had to talk about. Um, big oaths, big promises, and you know about this faith. You can't break that shit. You, you can't break it or you're going to have a problem. You are gonna have a problem. So you know what I'm about because I don't need no more fucking problems. <laughs> so I'm a pagan. I'm a pagan! Yes, you heard that right. I'm a pagan, baby. So I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye.